Pangai this morning to head to Ho'u Island, which is about four hours southwest of here. And hopefully yes. tomorrow we're going to dive Wickham Reef. Wickham Reef, that'll be exciting. <laughs> We're going out with Citation, who are parked over just next to us. Um, we're taking their boat over to the reef, towing our dinghy, and then we're going to use the dinghies to get to the dive site when we get to the reef. First time we've dived with a wing. Yeah. We had a we've had jackets for ten years, so we've just upgraded to these ultralight wings. And check out. Very much looking forward to trying. Oh, spanking new tanks. I don't want to get mine wet. Steelies as well. So we're hoping that we can lose weight. a little weight. Yeah. Hi, I should probably turn the top on. <laughs> Are you excited about today? Absolutely. <laughs> Once we had all settled in aboard Citation, we lifted the anchor and headed towards Wickham Reef. Brody on the helm and Travis on the bow to spot any uncharted bombies. Saturday morning to you. Gosh, it's the weekend already. My naked husband. Well, nearly naked. You've got your the, pants on. The nearly naked chef. Yeah. <laughs> see what I did there? I did see what you did there. That's quite funny. What are you making? Uh, You're having a right old bake up this morning, aren't you? Banana, <laughs> it's the walnut, bana banana walnut muffins in the go. That used uh, four, <laughs> maybe no, five, uh, <laughs> five uh, bananas in there. And I'm doing another batch of banana bread with a slightly different twist because we've actually found the bicarb now rather than the baking soda so we think we're going to get a bit more of a rise so Cat, Cat Brody and Travis stand by because they're in the same anchorage as us and they've got no idea how much of the well, stuff we're going to Well their bananas have done the same thing so we've, we've just got they're gonna probably a gonna, picnic They're going to run away screaming when we go towards them with a the banana product aren't they? Yeah. side of the South Pacific cans and plastic and most of it plastic. Haafiva is a small and beautiful island in the Hapai group. The sleepy village has a population of 300 people, but on the day we visited, the humans were definitely outnumbered by the pigs. And we are upping anchor from Ha'afiva Island and we are going to sail over to Uiha Island where we've never been before. It's close to the Lobster Islands and just slightly south of um, Pangai because we want to go into Pangai uh, hopefully on Friday so we can do our domestic checkout. 
Um, then we won't officially leave the Harpai group, then we'll go up to Foa. Um, but from Foa, we're going to go straight up to Vavau, so it saves us coming back into Pangai. Might get a few bits and bobs at the market on Saturday before we go into Foa. So we are en route for a fever to uh, Uiha. Uiha? No, we're now going to Uliva. Uliva, Uliva sorry. Uliva. Uh, and look, today we were just having a chat. We're doing eight knots, close hauled, in 20 knots of wind. We've never had a day where we have been over seven and a half knots. So Not consistently. We, we're either fluking out with the sails and how we've set them. Oh, uh, that's my expert sail trimming. Or it's Joe's expert sail trimming. We're still trying to work it out. We may even have some inkling of what we're doing. No uh, whales though. Probably. We might be packing along at seven and a half, eight knots. So it might be a lovely day, it's a little bit Had a cracking sail um, and would have gone straight into the anchorage but uh, all of a sudden we saw about 15 to 20 boats ping up on the AIS and there was just a sea of masts. Well we saw about eight boats ping up on the AIS and as we got closer we saw there was about 15 or 20 boats from the rally. Yes. There's a rally that came up from New Zealand and good to on Tonga. Them for coming up to New Zealand to Tonga. But, but apparently there were a whole load of beach games planned for this afternoon they, in that They bay. appear to be travelling as a pack. So we bailed. And we now have this beautiful language to all ourselves. to ourselves. That works. That's how we like it. We left Uiha to head back into Pangai to complete our domestic checkout. Our next stop in the island group would be Vavao. But we were planning a somewhat under the radar stop at Foa before moving on. Fair maiden, beautiful day for a Thursday. We've just left the anchorage outside the Ka'apai Beach Resort and we are going up to Foa, which is meant to be a beautiful island. There's a couple of resorts up there. Sandy Bay Beach Resort. We're, um, we've got the wind dead behind us at the moment at 21 knots, but we're going to, once we get around the corner, we should be able to get the head sail out and have a nice bit of a sail. It's a beautiful day on the water. It's going to be a cracking sailing day, but we're only going about an hour. Yeah. Wending our way through the uh, the coral patches when we get there, which might be a bit buttock clenching, but we'll see. <laughs> Doing it on the low tide with good sun, so we're hoping Hopefully it will be successful. There was another two boats that look like they might be heading up that way, so we'll wait for them and follow yeah, them. Yeah, follow them in, see if they hit anything. Follow up. Looks stunning. True companions up ahead. We're going to follow them in. They've been here before, so they've got a track. I'll be on the front ready to drop the handcore. And it looks just delightful. Yeah. So we do a dog leg around the reef, basically. Yeah. Once safely through the maze of coral, we dropped anchor in the crystal blue lagoon of Foa Island. We were planning on spending four or five days here before heading north. However, like all good plans, they were written in the sand and washed away on the next tide. Thanks so much for watching. Tune in next week as we have a whale of a time. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up below.